And in a race where the polls showing still up for grabs, candidates did not wait long to attack Dr. Mehmet Oz's conservative credentials. He again defended himself in part referring to former President Donald Trump's endorsement. Oz was joined on the debate stage by former hedge fund CEO Dave McCormick, commentator Kathy Barnett, businessman Jeff Bartos, and former ambassador Carlos Sands. The first question of, was about the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion indicating the high court may be on the verge of overturning Roe v. Wade. Kathy Barnett, born out of a rape, led off the responses. I am wondering if the good doctor has now since changed his position on that. My life is valuable, and so are the, and so are the many lives that find themselves in the womb of their mother. As a heart surgeon, I've operated on small children, a few days old, and witnessed the majesty of their hearts pounding blood, even though it's ill, because I'm operating on them, uh, through those bodies. I would never think of harming that child, or even nine months earlier, because life starts at conception. I'm pro-life, and Pennsylvania has a proud tradition of sending United States senators to Washington who are pro-life from both parties. It's a huge step forward, and it also pushes the decisions down to the state level. And this is something that you have to deal with, Mehmet, because you've got a track record that's completely opposite the positions you're saying now, and the Pennsylvania voters need to know, and it's another example of you being phony. It will now go back to the states, and this is a way, if it's true, that the people are empowered to make the decisions in each state. I support the overturn of Roe v. Wade. And the candidates also responded to questions about inflation and immigration, often sidestepping, though, to attack each other, particularly Oz and, at times, McCormick, the frontrunner so far in this very close race. And Dr. Oz will be appearing with former President Donald Trump tomorrow night at the Westmoreland Fairgrounds in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. We will cover the rally and speeches and have live reports throughout the day and night. Barbara Barr, WGL News 8.